Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about about offsides. Um, a lot of coaches, you know, they want to implement uh, flat back four. Um, they want to set an offside trap. And again, you know, with very young players, please let's teach them the principles of defending before we start to you know manipulate defending with the use of a system. So the first thing we need to talk about is offsides. Uh, a lot of people have no idea what offsides is, especially parents of, of, of kids that are new to the game. Um, and some parents that have been around for a long time still don't know because they've never played and they really don't care enough about the sport to learn all of the rules. They, they support their kids um, and, and they make a lot of noise on the sideline that's, some, that's sometimes not necessary. Uh, and if you're a coach that's, that, that isn't sure, then please make sure that you do know because it significantly impacts the, what you teach your kids at practice. So the first thing we're going to talk about is, is offsides. Okay, when is a player offsides? So if this is a defender, okay, and this is an attacker, the attacker is going to this goal. When the ball is played to this player from a teammate, if that ball is played here, okay, when the ball is played, this put player's position predicates whether or not he or she is offside. So right now, this player is not offside because they, this defender plus the goalkeeper, okay, is closer to the goal than the attacking player. So he's not offside. Now, I know that's probably very simple, and but this is where we get into it being a little bit ambiguous. If the player is here is he or she offsides? And the answer is no, because even is on. Now, let's say this is the defender and that's the attacker. Probably hard for you to tell, but this player is offside because they are slightly ahead of the defender. The old rule, and I hope you're not still going by this, is that they have to see daylight between the attacker and the defender for him or for her to be offside. That rule has changed. All you have to do is be slightly ahead and now you consider it offside. And again, this positioning when the ball is played, offside. This positioning when the ball is played is offside, not after. So if the ball is played and, and the attack is significantly faster and this is the amount of separation that they establish while the ball is in flight, doesn't mean because that's where they receive the ball, it means that they are offsides. That doesn't mean that's, that's completely incorrect and a lot of people, uh, because they look at the ball and nothing else, when they follow the ball to its recipient, they assume the player is offsides because they're so much ahead of the defensive player. And the way to solve that problem is to look off the ball a little bit more often and encourage your parents to do the same as well. So that you can you can have a more clear understanding and interpretation of when a player is onside and when a player is not offside.